Today we're going to be learning something quite interesting and quite important in security analysis, and that's how to estimate beta. For those of you who don't know, beta is pretty much the sensitivity an asset has to the market. So in this case, we're going to choose the S&P 500 and Tesla. So you can find all your data on Yahoo Finance, simply typing in uh, the index that you want to use and then typing in the stock. So I'll show you how to download the data. We're going to want at least five years worth of data to make it an accurate representation. The larger the sample, of course, the better. So apply that. That has updated. Yep. And then download the data. So this right here is all the information regarding the S&P 500. We have the open, high, low, close, adjusted volume, adjusted close, and volume. We only need the adjusted close and dates. So you can go ahead and get rid of the irrelevant uh, headings. Next, we want the stock data for Tesla. So you can go ahead and type it in and search it. Uh, go historical data. Historical prices, we want five years again from 2014, apply, and then download the data. Next, you're going to want to just get the adjusted close. Right click, copy, and then paste. Insert copied cells. So this is, we should probably clarify, market. And Tesla. So the next step in finding beta is finding the expected returns. Now, the last Excel tutorial I made, I used logarithmic returns. Uh, I'm going to do that again today. But you can use whatever re return structure you like. So log. My apologies. It should be this one. Equals log. This divided by period before. Should not be a times here. And that's our return. Let's make it go all the way down. And then you're going to want to press Control D and it will auto fill. There we go, so we have our returns. Now we have all our returns for the market and Tesla. Now there are three main ways to find beta on Excel. The first being regression. What you wanna do is go into the data tab and then data analysis. Make sure you have the data analysis tool pack downloaded and then press regression. The Y range is going to be your stock returns. So we're gonna to wanna to highlight over all the, my apologies, gonna to wanna to highlight over all the stock returns and then the X range is going to be all the market's returns. And then we're going to press OK. Now, it formed in a new sheet. We didn't really need to do that, but that's what we did. This right here, this X variable coefficient, this is your beta, 1.26. So let's control bold. Let's paste this over here for reference. So this is our beta calculated from regression. The next method is using the slope. To find the beta using slope, we're going to go equal, slope, the y is going to be our returns of the stock, and then the x is going to be the returns of the market. Close it off, we get the same exact number. Now the third and last method is probably the most common, it's the variance-covariance method. Uh, this is what we used in the previous video. So by using covariance, the beta equals covariance p, return on the stock, and the return on the market, close bracket, over the variance p of the market. So let's highlight over that again. And close bracket. This gives us the same answer once again. These are the three methods to find beta in Excel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the like button and be sure to subscribe.